Hey, welcome back. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. This is Dalton and Cloud coming to you live for another certification prep video. But before we begin that, I have another uh, little fun announcement for you. Um, in this particular video, we're going to be going over Linux, uh, specifically uh, the more advanced uh, Linux certifications. And then more specifically onto that, the uh, EX200 certification path. Um, but before we get into that, please like, comment, subscribe, uh, and uh, let's begin. So, as I said, we are going to be having a little bit of uh, news going on. So, I know I talk about them a lot. Uh, Linux Academy, aka a Cloud Guru. Well, I did get this in the mail, and then I also had this notification pop up on my login. So, starting April 5th, they're going to be starting to move over Linux Academy members over to the a Cloud Guru platform. They're going to start having everyone on one page. Uh, they do have FAQs if you are already a Linux Academy member, so uh, be sure to look forward to that. So th that's actually really exciting. So uh, let's go on to the main bit of our content. So today we're just going to be looking over some resource and study material for the EX200, aka the Red Hat Certified Systems Administrator exam. So. Getting into Linux, there's a lot of entry-level exams by different vendors. Uh, they're all very good, but the one that you're going to see the most uh, job postings for and the most openings for is going to be the RHCSA. Uh, this means it's essentially similar to the uh, associate level certifications for uh, cloud, uh, but it's just more of the associate level certification for Linux. Uh, just to prove you know more than the average person uh, with R Linux uh, and more specifically with Red Hat as a vendor. Um, so the first resource we're going to give you is, of course, on Linux Academy. This particular uh, certification uh, training is presented by the, none other than Tom Dean, who has over 20 years of experience in IT uh, focusing on Linux and Unix. So this is 23 hours. It will take you two or three times going over this uh, and really to really understand it. Uh, and I do suggest you take every lab that is offered to you. Uh, that, that's going to be the most important part. Uh, the, it's going to be another study resource material uh, we're going to be going over as well. This is actually on the Udemy platform. So this particular um, course is brought to you by Infinite Skills. And uh, if you don't know who Infinite Skills is, this is the same uh, certification course that you'll find on the O'Reilly subscription plan. So if you already have a subscription to O'Reilly, you don't need to really go for this. You could just uh, utilize what's there. But if you don't have O'Reilly and you're thinking about getting it for the uh, course, but maybe you don't want to pay a subscription fee and you just want a one-time flat fee, uh, this may be a better alternative. You get the same material you would on the um, O'Reilly course. Uh, this is a little bit uh, more brush the surface. There's 6.5 hours of study material. Still, it's uh, really easy to understand. Um, the uh, course instructor did a pretty good job going over all the subject matters. Uh, and uh, he's really easy to understand. But as I said, um, if you go over the uh, EX200 or RHCSA exam uh, prep in Linux Academy, Linux Academy or A Cloud Guru, it's just a little bit more um, in depth, and especially with the hands on labs, which you're going to want to go over because that will be a majority of your exam. Um, <laughs> uh, learn by do. I uh, wish more exams were like that. Um, okay, so moving on, uh, we did talk about the Red Hat uh, certified exam, but that's not the only more advanced or uh, associate level exam you could go for. You can go for the LPIC 2. 
But before we go to the LPIC 2, you may want to study from uh, into the LPIC 1. So uh, LPI essentials, uh, essentially what you're going to want to do is after you take the LPI essentials, you're going to want to kind of piggyback onto the LPIC 1. And then after the LPIC 1, you want to go onto the LPIC 2 and LPIC 3. Those are kind of the equivalent of going um, into the RHCSA uh, is LPIC 2, the same equivalent, and the RHCE is the equivalent as the uh, LPIC 3, essentially. Of course, it's very similar to the whole concept of Net Plus and um, uh, going for your uh, Cisco associate level certification. Um, it, you can just go for the vendor neutral one, but uh, generally you're going to see more job postings for uh, specifically for the vendor specific certification. So uh, this LPIC 1 system administrator study course is uh, produced by Terrence Cox, amazing instructor, uh, amazing architect. He did a great job uh, in this course. I watched a little bit of the video content on here and he just always does an amazing job. Next is going to be the LPIC 2. This was made by Kara Nolt uh, and this was more recent. Uh, I think this was actually made uh, within the past couple months and produced. So this is, if you want really, really, really up-to-date content, you can't get more up-to-date than here. Uh, literally just got created. Um, really goes in depth into the uh, domains. And as I said before, lots of labs. Uh, and then uh, this is more just a supplementary course. It's not really specific to uh, any certification prep. This is taught by Rob Marty. Uh, this is the System Administrator Guide to Bash Scripting. For and this is new. This is one of the newer ones. It was just created at the end of 2020 and produced on there. Uh, so that's going to be more of your associate level uh, certification courses. You could go and look under. Uh, I do suggest if you don't have a subscription to Linux Academy or A Cloud Guru as of yet, you go to A Cloud Guru, you get the seven day free trial, you start going over some of these courses, see if this is right for you. Um, you could start out by doing the monthly subscription, and then I know every Black Friday they do have a sale for $300 for a year. Uh, sometimes it varies, it could be more expensive, it could be cheaper, but I highly, highly suggest that if you do plan on sticking. Uh, to the IT field and getting some of these certifications. Without further ado, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.